Okay, now just before we go into um, changing the firmware, I want to cover a couple of things first. Um, is how to check what version of firmware your camera has. So what we'll do is we will turn the camera on. Okay, and you'll need it actually set um, on one of the manual modes. I've got this set on shutter priority, but aperture aperture priority will work. Manual mode will work fine. Then we need to go into the menus. Yeah, and then scroll along to this tab second in from the far right. Okay, and then scroll down to where it, you can see firmware version. If you're on 1.0.9 or below, then uh, you can upgrade the firmware to the latest version, which is 1.1.0. So that's how you check what version you have got. And what we'll have a quick look at now is how you will get the camera ready for the firmware upgrade in terms of connecting the cable and uh, making sure you've got a formatted card and so forth and enough power. So I just want to show you how you would connect it up. You'll need to make sure that you've got the EOS utility all set up on your laptop so that's installed. came on the CD that came with the Canon 500D. And so we'll just set this up here and we'll zoom in. So I've got my battery grip on. Now you do need a fully charged battery to do this upgrade of the firmware to make sure it's got enough power. Um, I was using mine last night to shoot video but I know I've got enough power in the two batteries. I've got a freshly formatted SD card ready to go because that's what the firmware goes onto. So we'll show you how to do that shortly. Okay, and then you connect it. Your other USB and goes to your, your laptop or your computer. And then we can plug in here. On the left side of the camera, we have a port here for the connection of the, the other end. So you've got the HDMI out there. It's not that one. It's the AV out and digital connection that we need to connect. And then when you turn the camera on, the EOS utility or your computer will actually see the camera. So that's how you set it up and connect it ready to go. And so we'll go back to the screencast now. Okay, welcome to a screencast video to show you guys how to update your firmware on your Canon EOS 500D T1i KISS X3. Uh, what you'll need to do is navigate to your the Canon website for your region or your country. They'll, they will differ. For some reason they can't make consistent websites these days. Um, and you will link through to the support pages or to the firmware and you'll get a similar page to this I would imagine. Now the firmware updates are listed here so these are the latest updates and we want the one from the Canon Rebel T1i and 500D just be aware because it's not mentioned in the KISS X3 there, there may be something different on um, if you go through via Japan's website, I don't know, just make sure you've got the right one so we'll fire that up and here we have the page which tells you how to update the firmware. So updating to version 1.1.0. I've already told you how to check your camera's firmware in the previous video clip. A um, couple of points to remember when we update the firmware. You need a fully charged battery or the dedicated uh, mains adapter kit um, which is optional to purchase. I've got two batteries in mine so I'm not worried about it on the battery grip. Okay now what this update fixes is reliability of live view shooting and corrects a phenomenon which may occur intermittently when live view shooting is activated where the mirror doesn't lock and position itself properly um, so you get no picture on the back LCD screen and it also fixes some um, incorrect indications in the Arabic, English and Swedish menu screens so that's just down to languages so nothing major okay we've already looked at how you can check which firmware that you've got on the back of the camera Okay, it does say there, select the program mode or one of the other creative modes, so aperture priority, manual shutter priority to get there. And it gives you instructions on how to update the firmware. Now I've showed you how to connect the cable and so forth, so we're all set to go. I've got my SD card already plugged into the laptop and that's formatted on the camera, not formatted on your laptop. And what we'll do, we'll go through and download the file. These instructions are here for you to follow through. Um, if you want to go to this site and read the instructions and do it step by step, or you can follow this guide that I'm doing now. Okay, uh, let's just cancel that. Thank you very much, Windows Vista, for interrupting. All right, here we go. Um, so we're going to download the file, so we'll scroll right down to the bottom now. It does tell you what to do to extract the files. On Windows, you need to go through a couple of extra steps. On Macintosh, it will extract them automatically. Um, so I'll scroll down. You need to click... OK on the agreement, which is a lot of rubbish usually. I mean, whoever reads those, and we'll click Agree. And you can select the appropriate file, whether you're on Macintosh or Windows. So I'll save target as. OK, uh, so what I'm 
Now I've set up a folder on my uh, desktop. Um, called firmware so it's going to replace that file I downloaded it already but I'll do that again so that's going to be quite quick there we go we're ready so now what we need to do is open that folder now bear in mind I'm on Windows different from Macintosh double click on that file not to rename it double click to run it or we might actually have to right click it's just taking a while to work actually there we go so we'll run that and it will extract the files now into that directory and that's the firmware file right there for you um, so we'll now right click I'm going to copy this now over to the root directory of my SD card make sure it's the root directory so I'm not in either of these directories where it will store images normally so right click and paste and that will copy across to the SD card it'll just take a few moments there we go okay so now what we need to do is just minimize all this to get it out of the way okay and we'll guide you through what we need to do to update the firmware okay so I'm going to connect the camera up which I've actually already got connected um, over here he says and he hasn't done Okay, I'm going to remove the SD card now from my laptop and place it in the camera. So that's it, all ready to go. I'm going to turn the camera on, okay, which will probably prompt me for the EOS utility. So we'll just wait for that to actually come up for a moment. There we go. it's got no images on there so we'll fire up the EOS utility that's just starting up it's taking a little while on this laptop but it's quite an old thing and it's trying to do two things at once with uh, recording this screencast oh, there we go So we'll go on to camera settings and remote shooting. There we are, and we can see here now some of the basic controls uh, that we've got. We can select firmware from here. So you click on the settings tab, select firmware. The current version is 1.0.9. Continue updating this firmware. Okay. and then we can actually point it towards it appears to want to be pointed towards the firmware file on the PC so this is a different way of doing it if you were doing it all in the camera by putting the SD card in there um, it would actually find it on the card so there we go we'll point it towards that firmware file updating the camera firmware now to 1.0.9 to 1.1.0 and away we go the set button on the camera so it's just loading up now you can't see this at the moment oh, you go away okay and it tells you on the back of the camera now to hit the set button to upgrade to the firmware and then clarify that you actually want to do it on the back of the camera it's fairly self-explanatory okay and that's now actually updating the firmware um, on the back of the camera you get a little progress bar on the back of the 500d as it goes along and it's quite quick it's already at 30 percent now and that's how you update the firmware okay so it's now switched over to the camera and lost connection with the EOS utility so you may find it easier if you actually just plug the card in and do it through the menus on the back of the 500d where you'd scroll across go down to firmware hit ok or hit set choose update firmware hit set and then point it towards the version that you want to update to which is just going to be one that you've got on your memory card so that's how you upgrade the firmware on your Canon EOS 500D T1i and Kiss X3.